In the last video, we talked about the developer experience and how to enhance the developer experience based on understanding their needs. Let's take it to the next step and understand how to attract and engage developers. To get started, let's take a look at the digital value chain. Most customers who are just embarking on their digital journey will start on the right side of the chain and simply expose the backend data assets. The developers will appreciate getting access to the backend data until they have to manipulate large payloads that affect the performance of their application. That's why it's so important to know your target audience. Moving from right to left, the API team who is charged with exposing the backend data for developers needs to understand the application developer's needs. Using the customer journey and personas technique to frame up a sample use case and taking the returns material authorization process as an example, the API team will need to determine how much data is needed to process the RMA. If the only data needed is the last few orders, don't send the entire order history. Likewise, if only customer name and address is needed for the RMA, then don't send extraneous customer data that can slow down performance. The digital value chain helps identify your target audience. Most people can relate to the end customer who uses the mobile apps to order coffee, purchase products, or track deliveries. And most people overlook the application developer as a target audience. Depending on where you reside on the digital value chain will depend on who your target audience is. Looking right to left, the target audience for the backend developer is the API team. The target audience for the developer is the customer. Now take a look at the middle of the digital value chain. The target audience for the API team is the developer who consumes the API product. Now let's take a closer look at the developer. The application developer is also known as the API consumer. The developer community is very diverse. We often hear from companies that believe a developer community is restricted only to internal developers. However, the developer community includes internal developers, partner developers, and developers external to the company. Successful communities include all types of developers and even goes so far as to treat both internal and external developers the same. Companies with a focus API product strategy will look outwards to engage developers. So if your target audience for API products is your developer community, you will need to actively engage this community. There are three key areas of focus in developer engagement. One, understand the needs of your API consumers. What do they need to discover APIs and understand them in order to get started? Number two, market your API product like you would market any other product or service. Just publishing to a developer storefront is not enough. You want to drive developers to your storefront. Number three, adoption is key to the success of your program. You will need to define the metrics for adoption in order to track and measure your progress. Is the number of developers registered on your developer portal the best measure of success? Or perhaps it's the number of API products used in production applications. A storefront for developer engagement has a number of parallel paths to be thought through. Acquisition of developers is key. The developer portal needs to catch the attention of the developer community, and the developer must know how to get started with the API products. How do you go about doing this? We will talk about it in the next slide. The developer portal is a storefront for your API products. Therefore, the product catalog needs to be compelling to developers. Documentation must be complete and comprehensive for quick adoption. Ensure that the onboarding process is frictionless. The easier you make it for the developer to register and obtain a key so they can get started with your application is key to fast adoption. And finally, don't forget about ongoing maintenance and support of your storefront, and more importantly, your API consumers. If developers have questions on the use of your API products, be sure to provide a forum to get answers. Let's dig into a few of these concepts. Follow the 555 rule for developer acquisition. That is, you want to grab their attention in the first five seconds, build interest in the next five seconds, build a case in the next five minutes. Grab their attention by making your storefront visually stunning. Create an API catalog with thorough documentation, making it easy to understand. Ensure that you have a value proposition by making a compelling case to use your APIs. Create a getting started page, providing a step-by-step -step guide on how to work with your APIs. Showcase your customer success stories. This can spark ideas for future innovation. Make it easy to get started. Don't hide documentation behind registration. 
make them want to register. Finally, get them engaged by hosting events like hackathons. Proper documentation will facilitate onboarding and adoption. Putting the effort into complete documentation up front will improve the adoption rate and down the road can reduce the amount of support needed. Note that documentation needs to be maintained over time, so plan on a team to update content on your developer portal. Make your onboarding process frictionless by minimizing the amount of information required to register. We recommend obtaining basic information needed to identify the developer, such as name, email address, company, and perhaps a brief description of the application the developer plans on creating. The easier you make the registration, the faster you can onboard the developer. Self-service on your developer portal is key to adoption. What does this mean? You want to engage developers by making API products discoverable to them. This doesn't mean you're giving them the keys to the kingdom. You can grab their attention by associating your API products with a brief description of what they can do. You have the ability to prove API key requests, giving developers access to your API products. In addition, permissions based on the type of developer can help you tailor the storefront experience for internal, external, or partner developers. Lastly, provide the capability for developers to try out the API products on the spot will go a long way towards faster adoption. A few years ago, I was working with a customer who was preparing for a demonstration to allow a patient to update their prescription on a mobile app. The application developer was represented by a firm external to my customer and based offshore. Of course, in these situations, there's always a time crunch. The application developer working with my customer had less than a week to complete the demo application in time to showcase it at the annual HIMSS conference. Yes, we were all under the gun to create the application, get access to the API product, and showcase the self-service features of the Google Apogee developer portal. The first step was for the developer to register on the developer portal and request an API key. The access to the API product was granted in the space of a couple hours. Then it was all about engaging the developer through complete documentation so he knew how to work with the API. Once the developer had access to the API, his app development was quick. Fast forward to the HIMSS conference for that year, and my customer was able to showcase a cool mobile app allowing patients to update their current prescriptions. My customer had done this by exposing an API product giving access to patient electronic health records. Like all well-managed API products, this one required an API key in order for developers to access the API. The process of granting or declining the request for an API key is available through the developer portal. The developer remarked on the speed of granting the API key. He mentioned that in the past, it had taken two weeks from the time he submitted the request to the acquisition of the API key. Acquiring the API key within two hours of the request was phenomenal and greatly speeded up the time to deploy the mobile app. Once your storefront is up and running, don't forget to put effort into support and maintenance. Keep your documentation fresh and up to date. Provide online forums, blogs, and frequently asked questions to reduce the effort required to support the developer portal. Treat your online storefront like a retail channel and spend the resources to keep it a vibrant community. Your API consumers are important. Focus on addressing your API consumer needs with an API-first approach and make engaging with your company effortless. I will leave you with a few best practice tips. Make your API catalog discoverable. Make registration on your developer portal frictionless. Ensure that your content is engaging and up-to-date. And finally, give your developers the ability to engage with you by enabling them to test their application. This will ensure quality rollout for everyone. I hope you found the topic of developer engagement engaging. Be sure to check out the next video on adoption strategies. Thanks for watching.